getting back out there, being part of that process? Yeah, it's probably probably the most uh, fun I've had since I've been here. Um, I'm enjoying everything. I'm soaking everything. Kind of, you know, just playing ball and <laughs> having fun with the guys. I don't have any more eligibility after this season. So, uh, you know, I don't want this year to go to waste. So I'm just soaking it up, man, having a ton of fun. PJ, what did Manny Diaz do during the bye week that maybe some of the past defensive coordinators haven't done? Uh, just prepare for everything. Um, you know, we, we did a lot of focusing on not just one thing, but it was a lot of different things that we were looking at. Um, uh, he really didn't want us to, you know, be, I don't want to use the word bored, but it was, it was kind of that mentality where we're just, you know, we're falling asleep because we're not playing that week. So we looked at a lot of different things. Um, and so it was really good from that standpoint that where we were coming out and having a different focus each day. So, uh, you know, we really enjoyed that. But, uh, you know, back to Michigan. Are you the type to embrace hostile environments or like ignore it? No, nah, I love it, man. I love it. You know, this what you, I mean, it, it don't get much better than that. Um, you know, that's one of the great, greatest environments uh, in all the college football. So, well, you know, I've been able to go down there um, in 2018 and see that. Um, so, you know, I'm looking forward to another trip over there. So I love, I love hostile environments when it's, when it's, uh, when, when your back's against the walls and all you have is each other. So I can't wait to get back out there, man. They got a great environment up there. TJ, just at this point in the season, Kate Tron and Nick are no longer true freshmen. Right. How, how have you seen the two of them just improve and progress that fall camp? Yeah, um, you know, they got the game reps. You know, during fall camp, they didn't have any in-game experience. So when you had that in-game experience, it, it you know, it's, it's like dog years, man. It's not just, you know, regular time. It, it starts moving pretty quickly. And they've done a tremendous job of, uh, not only getting the in game experience, but you know, learning and maturing from that each and every week, also in practice, too. So, you know, they're they, I mean, they're talented, man. Every time I look up on the Jumbo Trout or I'm watching them um, on the sideline, you know, they're doing great things. So, you know, they're just going to keep on going out there and doing what they're doing. No need to change nothing now. You said about not getting forward. Was that with regards to the bye week that Manny had you doing stuff to stay sharp, or is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, I mean, I mean, when you have a bye week, you know, you're not, you're not, you know, you're not playing on that Saturday. So, um, you know, it helped us come out here with a plan and, and, a, and, a, and a focus. Um, so it was really good. It was really good. What he did, you know, was, was really good. I'm glad we, you know, had a great bye week where we learned, we came out and executed, and we were focused. Um, so that's important. But, you know, game week's here now. So that's that's in the past. PJ, we were talking to Sal Warren yesterday. Mm -hmm. He said that Juice Scruggs has been an extremely demanding leader yeah. um, in the middle. Uh, Juice is the first time he captain this year. What do you, have you kind of seen out of Juice? Yeah, he's done it, man. Juice, uh, that's my dog right there. Um, you know, I credit Juice to a lot of success I have because going up against him each and every day, you know, it requires my best. He's strong. Um, you know, he's 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 violent, physical, uh, great footwork. So when I go up against him, I really have to be uh, on my best. Um, so, you know, he's done a great job. He's leading those guys. Um, this is his second year really being the, the, the lead guy. So he's only getting better. And I'm, I'm really proud of Juice because that's one of my brothers in that 2018 class. So, you know. PJ, um, James Franklin just talked about how you're playing the game at a very high level from a mental standpoint of doing your job, knowing where to be, right. and that sort of stuff. How much of it you had to rely on and lean on that through your journey to where you are right now in the last year? Uh, is, is there kind of like you're getting back to where everything is clicking fully? Mm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I keep telling y'all, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there each and every day. Um, you know, I just kind of had to get back to the basics, man, and just really enjoy everything. You know, I, I, I can't be worried about anything I can't control. Um, it's a journey, you know, it's not gonna be easy. And, and once I really realized that, uh, everything just started kind of falling into place for me. I just, you know, had to let go and, and, and trust in myself, trust in the people around me, um, that everything would be fine. So I'm getting more comfortable by the day um, and, and can't wait for Saturday to just continue to see that improvement. PJ? Yeah. You and your position group. You know, how do you guys go about increasing, increasing that and the breakdowns of the game where you see them, where they say Michigan has an edge in the toughness. So does, that, does that serve as any motivation? Uh, no, nah, we don't get we don't get caught up in that, man. You know, everybody's gonna say what they got to say, but uh, you know, we got we got to line it up on Saturday. You know, we're going up there. 
uh, 12 o'clock noon and we got to lace them up. So, uh, you know, people are going to say what they want to say. Um, you know, Michigan has a great offensive line. You know, you watch them on tape. They do a lot of great things. Um, so, you know, but we got a job to do. We got to go out there and execute, play out at a high level, and uh, let the chips fall where they may fall. But uh, we're excited. We're excited. You know, you, a lot of teams don't get this opportunity to play top-ranked top, top ranked teams um, in, in, in just a regular week. So uh, we're excited for the matchup. PJ, what's that excitement like in the locker room? Mm -hmm this week yeah it, it kind of feels like rec football man when you're you, you're itching in in class um just excited to get out on the field it's a it's like a young kid excitement um almost but you know we're we're we're, we're thankful for the opportunity um you know people are saying it that's why you come to penn state but it is really why you come to penn state to play in these type of games is it hard then james preaches one and oh is it hard to camp that down how do you do it well i mean it's here so we ain't got to tame nothing. <laughs> For the back like Corum, how do you think the whole defense matches up with such an explosive player? And like we are talking about, big boy, big boy football with yeah. your own line as well. Yeah, yeah. He's a, a back that requires you to, to do your job and be where you're supposed to be or he can take it to the house. And we've seen that on film. He does a great job of, uh, you know, he'll, he'll see something. Um, he'll be, he can bounce it and he can also run within the A, uh, a through C gap. So uh, he does a great job and we just you know we we got everybody has to just do their job um it's it's no easy task uh it's going to be a, a tremendous challenge for us but we're prepared we've been preparing this week we've been preparing each week throughout the uh season and as well as camp so uh you know it it's what you got to live for you got to love it um they're a talented team so are we and, and we're going to see that now what you, we got to look at uh manny's uh kind of emotions after that goal line stand what could you yeah. tell us about his personality that he brings to the team that maybe we, we saw there, but we don't yeah. see all, all the time over here. He's infectious. He's infectious. He's really good um, in the meeting room with getting his message across to us and then uh, making sure we get it done on the field. So uh, his energy, it rubs off on all of us. Um, you know, just every day I'm learning more and more about him, getting more comfortable in his system. So, uh, you know, it's been a pleasure to play for him. Um, and I can't wait to see what this defense is by the end of the season. But, you know, until then, we just got to keep getting better. And, uh, you know, we can be what we want to be under him. So that's how good of a defense coordinator he is. Pete, you got Kaziah back last game. Uh, yep. What does it mean to get a guy with uh, seemingly fresh legs at this point in the season and somebody who's played a lot of Big Ten football added to the mix now? Yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited for him, man. When I watch Kaziah, man, I see, like, all the great defensive tackles that I watch in the NFL in him. He has so many tools. like. In the run game, he's dominant. In the pass game, um, he could really—he's a do-it-all defensive tackle. And having somebody like that at this point in the season, where when you know we we have challenging matchups like this one coming up this weekend, you know you need players like that who can help you out and who can cause disruption. So glad to have him back. Hey, PJ, after how, the after Northwestern Trump said that he sees you as a, as a big brother, mm -hmm. how did that bond develop, and why was it important for you to maybe welcome Chop in and make sure that he felt like he was part of this program? Yeah, well, first and foremost, you know, Chop was a, he was, a, he, you know, he fit like a glove. He was, he, he came in, um, you know, didn't say much when he first got here, just worked. And, uh, you know, when you do that, you know, guys gravitate towards you. So, uh, you know, we welcomed him with open arms, but he made our jobs easier to welcome him um, just by his mentality on and off the field. Um, so, you know, that's kind of the approach I take with everybody. You know, I, 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 every relationship I have with all these guys, it means something to me. Um, not just that I'm a leader, but you know that these are my brothers as well. So uh, it's, it's special. We got a special locker room where being the leader really isn't that difficult. So thanks, PJ. Thanks. Thanks.